right, so you guys have asked about how I dye my fabric. So these are all old tie-dye bottles that um, we've had from when my kids and I have tie-dyed. And I just take and fill them up with um, a small amount of the dye and then the dish liquid that goes in there. And then I boil the, the water and the salt together and get those up to temperature and then put the water in here and then shake them up. And then we'll move on to the rest of it. So I use one of these containers. And let's see which fabric I want to use. Which one is this one? That is Roses of Providence. That'll be a good one to start with. All right. So these are just throwaway containers. I will throw my fabric in these whatever way I want to. And then grab colors I want to use, which are these two. Now I will warn you that these are very, very hot, these dye bottles, because they're plastic. So I will start out with, this is fabric I'm dying for Roses of Providence. And just kind of sprinkle it where I want it. And then grab the next one. And cover it the rest of the way. Like I said, these are very, very hot. Let that sit for a minute. Sometimes I will spread this stuff around a bit. And then grab one of these, put it on a glove. Lift this up out and I will set this into the sink. Okay, there's one done. Next one, let's see what the next one is I want to do. What is this one? This is Raven Queen. This is fabric I'm dying for Raven Queen. And I'll just throw it all in here. And Raven Queen is getting this one, this one, and a touch of this one. So this is the lightest color. And just squirt it on there. Whoop. And then this is a darker purple, a little bit of a different shade. Squirt it on there. is black. And this I want to be careful with because I just want a bit of it to be squirted onto this fabric. I don't want a bunch of it. Set that by the back. Black please. Okay. Yep, you get too much black, it'll turn a lot of nice color. Turn a very dark purple that kind of looks like black. 
Sometimes I will take it and smush it around in the leftover dye. If I don't want any white at all left on it, squeeze it out. Okay, what color, which one is this? This is Stargazer. All right, and Stargazer, I want a particular pattern with it, which I want... essentially where her head will be. Mapped out. So this is the halfway mark. Because she's sort of looking up at the spot, which is going to be over here. So with this one, going to be looking up somewhere over here so I'm going to take this and just twist it like this please don't Lydia I need this color this color these are the colors I need okay so this is the lightest blue I want it in the center. So I'm going to fully drench that. That's the lightest shade. And then I will, this is the darker shade, which I want this to cover out the rest of it. And then this is black. And I just want the black closest to the outside edges. Okay. And then I will shift that down to the bottom, bring this out pretty good. You're ringing out because you don't know how much of that dye there is in there. Okay. Okay, Lydia. Just garden prelude. Okay, this is garden prelude. And with this one, I want um, some of this color. Some of this color and some of this color. And with this one, I want it to be fairly modeled. So I'm just going to scrunch this up. And we're going to start with the tan first. This is tan. I want quite a bit of it to be tan. I think I have a brown in here also, don't I? Yep. And then I'm going to use a dark brown. A little bit, just in case. And then here is a lighter blue. darker blue. Is there green over there, Lydia? Yeah. 
pretty sure there is. I can see. I got you one. It's FG. Okay, but I want to know if there's a green. Yeah, I'll check. I don't think there is. No, there isn't, but there is in a evening that's blue okay. that's kind of like it. Okay. I thought it said fairy garden, but it didn't. This is forest garden. Okay, which colors do you want? Watch out. I want this color in there. Um, that could be like dirt. I know I wanted wine in there. There's no greens. Maybe go with, no, let's go with royal blue. Do you want to use the rose quartz? And tan. All right. The forest goddess, I don't really care. If there's any white showing or not. So we're just gonna squirt it all over. And then we're gonna go with wine. I'm supposed to be giving my mom the colors and putting them back, but she's not letting me take them. She's just gonna have to say the colors the next one we're gonna have to do with. And then blue. Where'd the cap go? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna cap them. Hold on. Oh, sorry. And I want some purple in that. What is FP? What does FP mean, Mom? Frog Princess. Next is Frog Princess. This one, I don't really want any white showing, so I will rub it in to the dye. Whatever colors they all mix together, doesn't matter to me. Frog Princess is now. And can I choose out the colors for Frog Princess? No. But what colors do you want? Because I could get those out. Honey, I gotta look at the colors, babe. Okay. You got this one? Yes or no? Alright. Last and final one should be Frog Princess. Yep. I just sort of crunch it up there. Um. I'm just going to go with purples and blues for this one. This is, I believe, the lighter one. Just that easy. Just squirt it on. It's the end of that one. That's good. Again, I don't want any white on this one, so I will rub it around in the dye that's left down here at the bottom.
Now, I will hang these up to dry. And then once they dry, I do the normal process of rinsing them out until they turn clear and then ironing them so that they're nice and flat. And that's the end of it. All right, so this is what it looks like when they're hanging up. That's the stargazer fabric we did. As you see that there's the, the lighter part and then the darker part goes out around. I don't remember which one that was. Don't remember which one that was. I know this one is Roses of Providence. I believe this is Raven Queen. And I don't remember which one this one is. But that's currently what they look like while they're hanging out drying. And they get that cool splotchy effect. You can see my car in the background. But that's what they're looking like. And they will stay out here until they're they're nice and dry. And then after I rinse them out, because the rinsing process this takes a long time. There's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like I'm missing one. One, two, three, four, five. There's only six here. But that takes a long, long that's a long process of letting rinsing it all out. But you have to make sure that these dry completely before you start rinsing them out. Or you risk too much of the color coming out of them when you rinse them. So I gotta let it completely dry before I can do anything else. Okay, so it is the next day and they are rinsed out fully. Let's see if I can get the whole thing in here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. There we go. These are completely rinsed out and then ironed and everything. This is the Stargazer project. Um, see, I, I write with um, an actual pen which fabric this is. So, I know. I'm doing that. It's up in a spot that you can't see. This one is for Raven Queen. I'll do it this way. Raven Queen. What we did this one had the purples and the blacks on it. And this one is for. Let's see if I can see. This is for Forest Goddess. This one is Frog Princess. Frog Princess. This one is um, Garden Prelude, and last but not least, Roses of Providence. So that is how I dye my fabric, and. I didn't show you the rinsing it out or the ironing process that's I mean you just rinse it out until it's clear and then you're done lay them all out here they're all finished
That's it. That's all of them we died. So if you guys liked what you've seen, like and subscribe, hang out, and I see you next time. Bye.